Hello and welcome to an unboxing of the Fractal Design Newton R2 1000 watt power supply. This will be going in my new computer very soon, until, but all the parts haven't arrived yet. Um, I found it very hard to get some videos of this thing in uh, the wattage that I wanted just to make sure that everything was there. So I thought it would be really useful for anyone else that was planning to buy this power supply to be able to watch this video. So I'm just going to run you around the box very quickly and then uh, we'll see what's inside. So here we have the uh, the front. This is a modular power supply with the uh, 80 plus certified efficiency and it's got a 135 millimeter fan which apparently is quiet. On the side here we have a noise level graph and the attached cables just pulls that there if you want to read that Ooh. and on the very back we have a picture of the modular ca cabling your fan and uh, there's some text there you can pause and read and down here you've got your uh, dimensions your DC output your input, your voltage and amps. You see it's got 75 amps on the 12 volt rail, that's quite good. And then on the other side we have the features. Okay. Alright, let's open this thing. I've just dropped the RAM on the floor. Nice one. Very hard doing this with one hand, especially because it's quite heavy. Right. So here's the inside. There's our little manual. Uh, lots of information in there. I don't read them things, I'm just one of them people. In this packet, we have all our modular cables. We'll get them out in a minute. Uh, we've got some straps, uh, some packaging, power cable which is not very useful because it's from, I don't know where, EU. Don't need one of them. And then we have the power supply. In a bag, which I'm just gonna put this down. So there, effectively, we have the bottom or top, depending on which way round you have it. You can see the fan. It's a nice big fan. There's the side with your ampage on it again and your voltage. Uh, boring side. Another blank side. There's the back where you plug in your power cable and switch. <clears throat> you can just about see inside there. And then there's the back for the plugs of our modular cables. And then we have some more cables here which we can unwrap with our uh, Velcro straps. And on this, all we have 
is our 20 plus 4 pin for your motherboard and a 8 pin connector for your motherboard. So that's the power supply and then inside another pull string bag oh no, it's not pull string, it's uh, velcro it opens out quite nicely we've got all our cables so in here we have an 8 pin for your graphics card yep, 6 plus 2, so that's 8 that's one of them. And then here we have another 6 plus 2, giving you 8. And then here we have another 6 plus 2, giving you 8 again. So that's three 6 plus 2 cables, which are about 30 centimeters long ish. It says exactly on the box when I showed you. And then here we have. Another 6 plus 2 8 pin connector. We have two Molex connectors and your Berg connector for a floppy drive or any other piece of kit you have that needs one of them. And we've got two, three, four more Molex connectors. This one we have one, two, three, four SAT power connectors. We have four more Molex connectors. And the very last one. We have Fiddly. Two, four more power SATA connectors, and again, four more power SATA connectors, which all came in a very nice bag. And they should all just clip in them holes there with the white plug supplied, and I'm assuming you're going to need to read which ones go where. Okay, so that's the end of this boxing. Uh, very nice power supply, and I hope this has helped with your decision upon which one you will buy be buying for your new computer.